Hello, Mira here with the next Helix video. So, uh, we picked up some important quests in the last one, and now we are going to continue doing some quests in town. So, I, for now, I will try not to do the quests where we need to fight because we are still weak and we need to do those quests without fighting first to gain experience and to improve our character. So, here is uh, Ragnar. We already spoke to him and there is nothing at the moment that we can do uh, with him but uh, there is one npc here that we need to speak to hello if you want to rest you should find yourself a spot and relax and if you are hungry we can surely find you something to eat thank you welcome i hope you have been shown kindness here to foreigners, it may seem that we only live in a manner that is in accordance with the law. But we have a place for any wanderers and lost souls who are ready to swear off their old lives. So, wherever you came from, your help is welcome. What's the point in us seeking to rebuild the world if we continue fighting? We need to build one world, together. I hope you can see that. What is this building? A rare relic of the old world, hey? If you want, go up to one of the higher balconies and have a look at the view. You will get an idea how beautiful it must have been here before the comet struck. It seems the people of the old world understood the value of that even back before the Great Fall. Why do you build these huts then? This place might be a good choice for defense, but it doesn't exactly connect us with nature. We all need to be rooted in the natural world. We all need to remember our place in it. You, me, all the people here, we are all part of Magalan. How long have you been with the Berserkers? I was born here, and I can't imagine a better place. What's so good about it? As Eisenfaust said, of all the places and all the people in Magalan, the planet chose us to give magic to. And Eisenfaust wasn't exactly known for his poetic side. With respect for all his great feats, he was a bit of a miserable bastard, to be honest. We have organized our lives around the essential things in life. You do not need everything you think you need. I could get used to life here. Good. Good. I would wish that for you. You will find safety here, and purpose. Ragnar will help you find your place. He can sound severe, I know, but there are pressures on him, and he wants the best for us. Tell me about Ragnar. Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is Warlord of the Hooded Crows. Warlord? Warrior, leader, and my husband. You're married? Why would I marry someone whose expression is that of thunder over the mountains? That is when he is carrying the weight of his clan. Then he is a warlord. I married the man. How did Ragnar become warlord? Hard work, dedication, and popularity. Tell me the real story. Do you mean, is there a deep, dark secret? A tale of rivalry and assassination to rise to the top? No, I'm afraid it's a tale of skill, ability, and dedication. He was named Berserker when he was a teen, served his time in the fields as a cultivator. He was seen defending the seedlings from mutants and was named Warrior on the spot. When he was a child, Ragnar met Eisenfaust, and I think that left its mark. He wanted to be that man. And he is, just with more of a sense of humor. In their hour of need, the Berserkers call for another Eisenfaust. And in Ragnar, I believe they have him. Is there something you need doing here? There are always things that need doing here. And helping out will gain you notice for promotion. Of course, for the highest ranks, we must all look to the Warlords to be promoted. 
Ask in Goliath, and you'll find tasks to match your skills. But there is one thing I need help with. Though, I warn you, it could be dangerous. What sort of dangerous? The regular kind. If you've come from beyond the walls, it won't be anything new to you. Our scouts reported that a few clerics were recently attacked by mutants. Let's just say that, despite all their technology, the clerics came off worse. But the weapons they left behind, lying about out there, are a problem. They could cause a great deal of damage in the wrong hands. I want you to collect them and take them to Yora. You'll find him at the pit. He and the workers there make sure such technology is made safe. I will find the weapons. Thank you. The sooner we can put them into the right hands, the better. Elex, mutants, technology. We have a long way to go to save Magalan. Why didn't your patrol bring the weapons back? There were too many mutants. The cleric seemed to have stirred them up and had half the mutants in the area after them. The area is quieter now. But Ragnar has had to assign the warriors from the patrol to other tasks. That's why I hope you can go. Okay, uh, so we didn't give the weapons to clerics and now we can give them to berserkers. I have secured the weapons from the ruins. That is good news. Please take them to Yora and arrange for their disposal. Okay, uh, now we will go to Yora. There are actually two quests uh, that uh, we can uh, do when we speak to Yara, because there's the other one quest that we got for Angrim to ask for a weapon and get it for, hi for him. But uh, remember that uh, Angrim is strict about rules, so uh, that's kind of a special task and you will see in the conversation uh, there that... Uh, we should be, when we uh, do quests for Angrim, we should obey the Berserker laws, so. And uh, there is one NPC here that we can speak to for a side quest. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed. Bitterly, which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need, but it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Okay, so we do not have survival, so we cannot take more healing potions. <laughs> Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Alps who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix withdrawal? I met an Alp separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time, he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain, all that confusion. What happened to him? Where is he? He died. 
It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. May the sun... Okay, let's continue. Uh, there was that other guy, uh, Stormson, that was talking to the last NPC that we just spoke. Uh, we will find him around somewhere in the town. I will speak to all the NPCs. Okay, and we get to the pit, so... Here is the pit, below us. Uh, there they throw out uh, the technology because they do not like the technology and we need to find Yora he should be around here and there he is so I will save here and there is some weird glitch there hey let's speak to Yora hey what's that you're hiding there what are you talking about there on your arm what is that Have you got a problem with me? I'm trying to help you avoid a problem. It's Elix technology, and that sort of device is forbidden to berserkers here in Goliath. Carrying a piece like that openly on your arm could get you into trouble. I'm not carrying it. It's an implant. An implant? Well, that gives you a reason for not removing it. Well, you don't look like an owl. Too much color in your cheeks, too much shine in your eyes. That and you've not tried to kill me. Still, best you know that should you find any other Elix technology on your travels, you should take it to the pit for disposal. Okay, so we can give uh, him a cleric's weapons? I have some cleric weapons for you. Now that is a find. Now to get the Elix out of these things. First, have to remove the cover from the holder, and... Are you going to give me all the details? No, no, your work is done. And thank you. How do you get anything done without technology? We haven't rejected technology completely. We have rejected Elix technology. And as you can see around you, we have done fine without it. A clean life. Life as it was before the comet. Life grown from mana. Now, that's a better use for Elix than building devices. So, we collect technology, extract the Elix from it, and throw the scrap into the pit. The pit? That's where we take all forbidden technology. Once the Elix has been extracted there, it goes to the mana shrine, and the junk left over goes down into the pit. We cure the soil of Elix's poison and use it for healing. You will find our healers on the upper ring. They'll show you how we use its power. Why not do this and use technology? You sound like one of those technophiles, looking forward and not knowing their history. Listen, there are books from the Great Fall that say there were other ways to power machines, but that most of them poisoned the air and the soil. And so, Amric and the Forefathers decreed that all technology that poisoned our world should be forbidden. And, right at the time machines were forsworn, and we started to make Magalan pure again, mana was given to us. Magic is nature's reward for our rejection of technology. And if you have magic, why would you want technology? So the Alps pump Elix into themselves, the clerics feed it to machines, and we transmute it into magic. Surely technology makes life easier. Such is temptation. The Albs take Elix. They get stronger, but what have they become? Victorious. They're beating you. In the short term. They don't even know what they're fighting for. How can they ever be victorious if they let themselves become machines? They have a love of Elix, a need for it, but as to why? If we knew that, perhaps we could talk with them. But they have retreated into Zaycor, only to be seen when they come to kill. And they're changing becoming less human. While our mana helps us cast magic, it's toxic to the Alps. But Alps can cast magic. 
Yes, yes. Now there is something I don't understand. So if you need Elix, why do you want to get rid of it? Ah, Amrex Paradox. We are told Elix is the center of all ills in the world, and yet it is also the cure. So we collect it, transmute it, and hope we can win the race against those who would use it for destruction. You could help us with that. You want me to collect Elix? You must have seen that monster made of metal that sits on the horizon? That Alb converter? What about it? The Albs built it to refine Elix here in Edan, but our warriors forced them to abandon it. That machine is a thing abhorrent to nature. But we can make use of it. Well, of the Elix in it. Amrex Paradox. Let's take that horror and make it magic. It won't be an easy task, but I need to get some parts from the converter that have a high Elix concentration in them. Can you do that? And if I get caught bringing Elix into Goliath? You have my absolute word that this is official business. I told you, we need this. Amrek and the Pilgrim agree. Magic is nature's cure. Technology, it's curse. The world hearts will purify Magalan without the need for machines. It's up to us to tidy up the mess that those machines have already made. If Elix is so bad, why do you trade using Elixit? You mean, why not turn it into mana? It's Elix, isn't it? Yes, but the concentration in it is just too low to produce mana. Maybe one day we'll manage it, but until then... It's useful. Everyone spends it, so we do too. I'm glad it's the Pilgrim and the Warlord who have to decide all these things. It makes my head hurt. Okay, so we do not have uh, crafting to do this. So, you won't be confiscating my Alexit? Oh, we need as much of it as possible to buy the things we need. So, please, trade while you're here. I will get you the converter parts you want. Good, great, thank you. Be careful, though. Last guy we sent disappeared. He promised he'd be back quickly. Never seen again. And this is the Engrim's quest, so let's do that. Engrim sent me to collect an Elix weapon from you. He did, did he? Yes. He said it was captured from the clerics. He wants to study it. And you want me to give you this weapon, do you? So, uh, if we ask him to give us weapon, that isn't good because Engrim is testing us. So let's go with the second answer. Are you allowed to give it to me? If Angrim sent you, why wouldn't I? Orders are orders. What reason would I have to deny him? Elix weapons are forbidden in Goliath. They are. They are forbidden to all berserkers. Angrim's task was a test. He only trusts those who question their orders according to the law. It seems you listened and have learned our law. Go back empty-handed. Angrim will give you a reward for doing so. If you break our laws for reward or favor, you will be punished. If you listen to the laws and keep them, you will be rewarded. Good day to you. Okay. And there is actually that weapon. We can steal it and use it, but uh, it's kind of defective weapon does less damage, so it's kind of not useful. I am going to loot basically everything at some point, but not now because I want to increase my lockpicking skills and pickpocketing and then I will do the looting. And let's speak to this guy. You're new here, right? You're an incomer? Tell me, what do you think about our laws? Do you think they should be strict or just used as guidelines? Well, uh, let's go with the second answer. Law should be guidelines. It's time you had an education. Why are you asking me about laws? 
Well, you're not one of us. So, I'm not surprised at all that you don't think much of our laws. Listen, can I ask you a favor? As an outsider, you're not bound by our laws. Not as much as a true berserker. Who are you? My name is Ornir. I'm one of the workers at the pit. We decommission forbidden technology here. Making Magalan safer one machine at a time. I came up with that. Not everyone understands what we do here, particularly incomers. But as Amrek said, technology is seduction. The easy path will lay us waste. And so, here we are. Removing temptation from the weak-minded. What help do you need? I believe I saw someone in the pit. Then he escaped. He's sort of hanging around outside town, down that path near the gate. I think he's an outlaw. I'm only guessing, but I think he must be after the equipment we throw down there into the pit. If it is really one, then he has to disappear. Why don't you tell the guards? No, no, they're... If that's a real outlaw, they couldn't deal with him. They're not top-notch, that's why they're here, not on the front line. No, no, I wouldn't want to put them in danger, but you... You look like you can handle yourself. Okay, he's definitely being shady, and we will see later on why. Why would an outlaw be down there? Stealing. Stealing, of course. Bastards want nothing else but to make themselves rich. And the pit is where we throw all the bits of technology once they've had the elix removed. Worthless to us, but an outlaw? Well, they'd try and sell maggots to a corpse, wouldn't they? So, why don't you take care of it? I... well... I'm not allowed to leave here. I've got to... do things. I'm a technical expert. Angram wouldn't want me to endanger myself. I mean, if he was a piece of technology, I'd be there. The Elix would be out. The law would be satisfied, but... Look, Angram's already watching me. He hears I've been near an outlaw, I'm dead, or exiled. What exactly do you want me to do? Kill him. The outlaw. I'd recommend you do it from a distance. Don't get close. I'm certain he's up to something. I will take care of the outlaw. Good. Great. Thanks. I saw him by the cliff outside the gate into Goliath. You know, below the pit. You should check around there. Okay, so it's kind of obvious that uh, he doesn't want to know that uh, he's speaking to an outlaw. I mean, he told us not to speak to him, so the outlaw knows him. It's kind of really obvious. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, there shouldn't be any... Actually, there is one more NPC here. Actually, the really important NPC because uh, he's a crafting tra trainer. I'm looking to make a trade. And what brings you to me? I've heard you're the person to talk to when you need something hard to get hold of. Did Angrim send you? Look, I don't know where he gets these ideas about me. I'm not here from Angrim. I need to buy a laser weapon, the sort the clerics use. I'd got hold of one recently, but then Hakon spotted it and confiscated it. Do you know how I can get hold of another one? And if you can get me one, can you get me, say, three? Are you insane? I don't know this man. I've never met him. Keep your voice down. I'm sorry, stranger. I've no idea what you're talking about. Trade. Me. I'm a solid, honest berserker. I don't know who told you what, but get lost before you get me exiled, or worse. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, let's speak to Stormson and then we'll speak to the other NPC. Why do you think you're losing the war? You've seen the enemy. Alb Raiders? Cleric mechs? Guns? We are the Guardians of Magalan. It's our duty to win this war. Why does it matter how we win it? It's winning and choosing what we do afterwards that counts. And how do you want to win? In a fair fight. Not with swords and superstition against energy weapons. If we've crossed the line and are prepared to kill a man, 
why question the way he was killed? Better to give up some of our principles than ask our warriors to give up their lives. Ah, incomer. It would be good to talk later and hear your news. Okay, and let's talk to the other NPC. This is a crafting trainer, by the way. Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Me? Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. Okay, he's being a bit sleazy, but uh, let's listen. I'm listening. I'll bet you look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled up the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But, and I'm getting to the point, here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker, someone who knows what's right, what's legal and what's not. Then there's a newcomer like you. Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. Why should I trust you? Because I'm a hooded crow, not one of your rule-making Eisen clan. Not a wannabe hammer clan. I'm a good, honest, straight-talking, hooded crow. Clans? The hammer clan, the Eisen clan, and the clan of the hooded crows. That's your berserkers. So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? Rare is where the Alexit is. You can spend your life dreaming of Alexit, or spend your Alexit living your dreams. Your choice. You're looking for rare items? I help people with problems. When someone discovers rare items that are legally questionable, I solve this problem without the need to take up the time of our busy official authorities. No fuss, no overstretching our legal authorities. It's much better for everyone. And all for the right price. I just do as any honest, loyal, law-abiding, practical berserker should do. About these rarities. Yes. What's the catch? Catch? What catch? You'll earn a handsome amount of elixir. Where's the catch in that? Do you take me for stupid? No, no. Stupid would only cause me trouble. Who wants stupid? Smart is what I need. Smart knows how to keep everyone happy. Smart knows how to keep the laws in perspective and turn a healthy profit. And I can see you're smart. Can you get a hold of Altec technology? Altec is far, far too hot and Goliat, my friend. I'm a brave man, but no outlaw, no reaver. I mean, just the other day, I met a bounty hunter who was trying to track down an outlaw over something. Trust me, you want to stay away from that life and that merchandise. Exactly what goods are you looking for? Me? I don't want anything. But I might know a few people in need of mature healing roots. Born the cultivator knows where they grow. And if you could persuade him to let you harvest them, then maybe I could persuade someone to give you Alexit for them. And if I just give the roots to Born, You could. You could. But then Born's not going to be as financially grateful as me. Meaning he'll pay you less if I have to spell it out. Do you need any other items? Well, there is something that needs acquiring and redistributing. You know the pit, right? Yes. Well, you're a... The guy in charge there needs help collecting things with Alexit in them. 
and here's you looking to be helpful. So how about you help collect that stuff for him then accidentally lose it on the way back? You want me to bring you things with Elix in them? Well, truth be told, Yora really doesn't like that stuff. And I know people who love it. So it would be winners all around. Any more rare items you're interested in? You've noticed the Mana Shrine, right? Big building in the middle of Goliath? Yes. Well, it just so happens that building contains all the elix they use to make mana, and mana is magic in whoever's hands hold it. I'm telling you, elix can make profits appear out of nowhere. All you have to do is make it disappear from under Caldrum's nose. Anything else you're looking for? Not right now. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. What's the rarest item you're looking for? Well, there is one thing, but it's a bit special. Tell me about it. Well, if you're sure, once we talk about this, you'll be committed. It's all about trust on this one. Just tell me. Well, you see, Ragnar, one of the big bosses here, has something of particular interest to me. A family heirloom. Eric Eisenfaust's sword. Who is Eric Eisenfaust? You've got to have heard of him. He was one of the greatest warriors ever to fight for the Berserkers. Eisenfaust is a legend here. Kids worship him. Warriors want to be him. Not Ragnar's either. Who knows how he got the sword, but it wasn't legitimate, trust me. Some say Eisenfaust was the real founder of the Berserkers, that he took Amrek's dreams and made them real. They say that 50 years ago, Eisenfaust destroyed an entire army of the cleric's fighting machines using just this sword. Load of Alt Hui, of course, but even so, with his name on the sword, it's almost priceless. Almost. I'll give you a reasonably sized stack of Alexit for it. I'll get you Eisenfaust's sword. Your skills, my needs. What a beautiful business we do together. But be careful, yeah? Ragnar is not going to want to part with that sword willingly. I'll get it for you. Then your reward will be waiting for you. Teach me something. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so like I was talking uh, earlier, this is a crafting trainer, trainer so we can train here. Uh, the most important thing I think that to train is lock picking because there are a lot of uh, locked chests uh, with some great loot. Also, there are some locked rooms uh, for which you need hack and some locked saves. So when you start exploring, it's a good idea to at least have uh, two points in lock picking and maybe two points in hacking. Um, but there is also an um, Emulate that we picked up, so we only need two points in lock picking, and then we will have full th uh, three out of three. And there is also a few other emulates and uh, items who uh, that give uh, some stats for crafting. So we will find those along the way. But for now, <laughs> let's uh, speak to other NPCs, and then uh, in the next video probably. Uh, we will uh, put some uh, talents in when we get some um, that technology will get you in uh, some more levels and uh, we we'll also we will also put attributes in but for now we're just talking to NPCs we're not fighting anyone so it's not that important to put them right away uh, we could have uh, trained for I don't know crafting at least one or two then we will we could uh, when we speak to NPCs, uh, there are some dialogues that uh, need uh, skills for crafting combat or uh, charisma, but it's not that important on, in the beginning. So let's uh, speak to this NPC. Hey, can I help you? What do you want here? Uh, 
I'm just passing through. Many arrive with that intention. Most stay. Let me welcome you to Goliath, the jewel of Magalan. Here you can see what our world once was, and what she can be again. But tread carefully whilst you're here. Some of the plants we're cultivating in the seedling farms are fragile. Damaging them means exile to the Valley of the Damned. So I'd watch your step. It'll make life easier all round. Life is a lot more comfortable here in Goliath than out in that valley. What is a supervisor? Someone who has already worked so long at a job that people have decided they are better organizing people than doing the actual job. What's a seedling farm? We grow a lot of different plants here, specimens of all the types we can find. But of them all, the world hearts are the most important. For where they grow, all life will follow. That's why these plants get their own fortified defenses. If you would like to see the work we do, you are welcome to visit us. M many incomers stay to become cultivators. We always have space for more people willing to dedicate themselves to Magellan. I hope you find your place here. Really? Now? Take care of the world. The people up there will take care of it. Okay, and uh, we can speak to bartender. What have we here? Some people are Welcome we to the Berserkers. The you want to make it all the way to the top? You must observe our sacred traditions. Most sacred of all, never have an empty glass. <laughs> Tell me, what brings you here? Is this your tavern? It is indeed. Tavern, home from home, resting place for the hardworking man. We offer shelter to all loyal berserkers. You want something to drink? Give me a drink. What'll it be? Okay, so we can buy some stuff. And we actually need beer for later on, so I will buy one. And this is kind of stupid uh, that you cannot... Uh, at least I do not know how to skip at least 10 or something like that. But there is one way to actually... Well, we do not have that much money. So I will have to get one like this. Uh, and this is boring. There are some really small things that bother me with this game. But it's okay. And we got ourselves a one beer. And... As you can see, there it is, and we will accept the trade. Well, that's one way of thinking about it. Tell me. Have you heard anything about the Alps recently? Well, it's said that they were very active a few days ago. One of them Alps, Calix, they say, seem to be very interested in the old observatory in the mountains up there to the west. Calix? Do you know where he is now? He and his troops went north. Pity. He made it out just before the force sent after him got there. Must have had a fright. There have been no more Alps seen since then. Do you know where in the north he has gone? I don't really get any news from past the first border region up there in the highlands of Abessa. There's not many berserkers prepared to venture far into the ice lands. Hardly anyone who's seen the ice palace has returned alive. Do you know anyone who made it all the way down to the ice palace? Not that it's still alive. There were a few warriors, but we lost them in the last attack. Why do you use such old weapons? What? You think you can't kill someone with a sword? You don't need Elex weapons to survive. You ask the Alps. Their technology against our magic, and they're the ones in the ground. Maybe the Berserkers just got lucky. Ha! Are you one of those people that looks at a shiny gun and thinks it's progress? Elex rots whatever it touches. Look at the Alps. They might as well be mutants. They're unnatural. What's so good about nature? Have a beer and you can taste it. Nature is magic. Real magic. Took the comet for people to realize that. So that's what we do here. We work with nature. Nature gives us mana and mana gives us magic. Idan is different to the other places I've been. Well, there you have me beaten. I've never left Edan, but from what I've been told, the comet scorched the ground and what didn't die was poisoned by Elex. It's only here that the world is growing again. Generations of berserkers have worked hard to make this place. And now we have the world hearts. The other lands should be welcoming us. 
They should be begging us to come and heal the world instead of attacking us. Who are the Berserkers? We're the only real free people there are. I know, I know, we have our laws. But better that than a knife at your throat like the outlaws. Or an elex edition like those Alps. We're working together to make this world better. You work hard here, you're rewarded. There's no others will be so fair to you. Okay, let's continue. I am going, all right. I plan to go to cultivators now to in the, uh, in the lower quarters. But first, uh, there are some other NPCs that we can speak to. Another incomer. Are you here to trade, fight, or just add another mouth to the masses? Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're going to keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. It doesn't sound like you're getting the help you deserve. Don't pretend like you feel sorry for me. People like you are only interested in the power that comes from magic, not the problems of common folk. But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. I need better weapons and armor. I can't help you there. You can only get that sort of thing from our blacksmith. But he'll only sell to berserkers. And even if you're a berserker of the right rank, he will make sure it costs you. How much? A good few shards for sure. But if you've worked your way up through the ranks to be eligible, you should have earned a lot on the way. And the more hands we have working in Goliath, the more chance I have of getting the help I need. Okay, so uh, she's a charisma trainer and uh, we need charisma if we want to uh, select this uh, answer. And we will do that later on. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Isen clan promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned. And then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorals returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. But then, why should you care if our warlords don't? Can I help? You? Well, I'm not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angram that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The Pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. He left. All we know is that his leaving had something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly... I don't think anyone knows. It sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. No guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do send. Yes, it's not just you. I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. And you know where they take the things they've stolen? Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. 
straight to Tavar and a share of the profit. Interesting to know. I will speak to Engram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best, but we can get by without those food supplies from the valley. Okay, so we can trade with her. Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. There are a few things, but uh, like I said, uh, it's not a good idea to spend the money here. We can buy arrows later on if we need for a bow. And uh, this is not that useful. It uh, does look cool, but not useful. Uh, and uh, we can also train. Teach me something. Of course. She's a charisma trainer, so uh, charisma, on a first glance, it does look uh, like it's uh, beneficial, but if you're doing a fast run of this game, I really wouldn't suggest you putting your time uh, learning this stuff, because uh, the most important thing is to uh, train um, at a combat trainer and uh, put all your points uh, towards... Uh, using uh, a sword or bow and arrow or weapon of some kind and not in a charisma but uh, since we are going to play all, all the quests and uh, in the beginning we are not going to do a lot of uh, fighting uh, this uh, particular uh, skill is kind of good but uh, it requir requires a lot of intellect that uh, you might think you do not need it and you really do not need a lot of intellect like I said if you doing a fast uh, run uh, and you do not plan to join clerics if you're planning to join clerics you probably need intellect and uh, well even for berserkers if you're planning to cast spells again you will need intellect but for if you plan to use uh, swords or bows and arrows or some range weapons that do not require intellect you will not need the intellect uh, so i will actually get this skill once we have enough points to get uh, get it uh, at the moment we do not have 50 intelligence and actually uh just for a second i will talk more in depth uh, about skills Stop messing around with that but if we want to get uh, 50 intelligence you would think that uh, we need uh, 40 attributes points but that's actually not true because if we start putting here and we get up to 30 from this point on we actually need to put two more for each so two attributes point points for one intelligence and uh, that goes up to 60 and then uh, again we will need even more attributes points for one uh, intelligence so, when, once we have enough, uh, I will get this. For now, I will just uh, revert it by pressing Z. And we will continue. And there is actually one really nice sword that can be looted. And uh, I do plan to loot everything, but we will steal this one just for a second. And of course you can get caught uh, stealing. But there was no one around and we just stole that sword. And let's uh, look at it. So, there it is, snake bite. Uh, it requires um, 30 uh, strength and 60 dexterity, which is okay. And uh, it can be socketed and sockets are really for the end game and they're not that powerful. So, if you see a weapon without socket, don't worry, it's not a big deal. If it, the, the thing that you should be uh, looking at it is how much damage it does and uh, if it has the uh, damage type, uh, that is a good thing. So we will probably use this sword because uh, later on I will put a lot of points towards dexterity because we need it for um, some uh, crafting skills and also uh, we need it to uh, use a bow or a energy weapon or what have you all the range weapons require a bit more dexterity but also swords require dexterity uh, the mo two most important attributes are strength and dexterity you will need them anyway you cannot go wrong with putting strength or dexterity 
and there should be some guy here. The NPCs move around, so there he's maybe in the field. Uh, let's see. Uh, not here. Quick, quick! You have to help me. Rotbors have burrowed through the cliffs. They're threatening the seedlings. We have to stop them. Follow me. Okay, let's do this quest. Okay, so uh, this... Uh Enemies actually have uh, ranged attacks, so if you get uh, if you get uh, far away from them, uh, they will shoot at us. That uh, is what happened there. And let's uh, speak to an NPC that gave us this quest. Where is he? Okay, there he is. The seedling fields are safe. The rot boars are dead. Rot boars? Huh. Vermin. He told me he suspected something was burrowing in the cliffs. I assume Auric is doing well? It seems so. Good. Your help is appreciated. Thank you for standing with us. What exactly are you doing here? Caring for these seedlings. With care and luck, one of them might grow to maturity and become a world heart. Of all the ones we grow, very few make it, but those few are everything. Those few will save Magalan. How are the seedlings? But it will take time to train Oryx's replacement and give them the care they need. And, in the meantime, we have a different problem. I've had to put all the cultivators to work to repair the damage the rot boars did to the fields. And that's left me short of people to gather the healing roots our healers are demanding. You need someone to harvest the healing roots? Yes, to harvest them and bring them back here. Any pair of hands willing to assist will be welcome. Please, we need those healing roots to care for the wounded. I will harvest the healing roots. Good, good. I would be very grateful. We all would. If you can make sure you pick the mature roots, those are the only ones with healing properties. Where can I find the healing roots? They grow in small clusters around the lake above Goliad. They can be easy to overlook, so you may need to search for them a little. Okay, we cannot uh, do this conversation because we do not have uh, to, to survival. So, uh, there is only one option. Alright. Good. Now get to work. Teach me something. Yeah, will do. Okay, so he's a uh, survival trainer. Uh, there is one more uh, survival trainer in this town. Uh, we will get to that NPC later on. Uh, the survival is, of course, to survive. To increase your uh, chances to survive. So you can uh, train resistances or increase the armor, stamina and so on. And there is this thing, but we cannot mine it because we do not have the drill. Uh, you think the hammer will do that we sold, but uh, we actually need the drill. And the hammer uh, doesn't have any use. I thought it would be used for um, crafting, but you do not need it for crafting. And we can speak to this guy. These fucking mutants! They're so desperate for Elix, they even try eating the mana from the seedlings. All at work, ruined by damn rot boars. Mutants eat Elix. It's like a drug, they need it. If they don't get it, they die. They'd rather go without food than Elix. That doesn't help me keep the seedlings alive, though. And that's my task. I look after all the seedlings here. Wait a moment. You... you look familiar to me. Yeah, I've seen you somewhere before. You must be mistaken. We've not met. I didn't say we'd met, just that I recognized you, but... No, you couldn't be him. <laughs> I mean, what would an Alb commander be doing here in Goliath? 
I mean, what? You just decided to stop conquering Magalan and hang out here with me instead? That'd be crazy. But, you know, you do look really like him. You should be careful. If someone else recognizes you, uh, thinks they recognize you, then you'd never get back to the Ice Palace. <laughs> Watch out for the... Okay, so uh, that NPC has some other quests later on. For now, that's all we needed to do. And there is also one NPC down there that uh, we need to talk to. Uh, we missed something. Okay. Uh, we will need those uh, cultivators laws later on, so it's a good thing to pick them up. Hey, are you my backup? What backup? Oh, for the love of her. There's no one gonna send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. How the flying set of syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard this area alone? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind, with rot bores loose out there. With albs crawling around in the undergrowth ever since that raider crashed out to the west. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my man jewels gnawed off by a pack of mutant canines. It's like they want this town to be overrun. You don't need to worry about those rot boars anymore. They're dead. Dead? Oh, great. That's perfect. Now when their friends turn up, they're gonna be really pissed. You know, rot bars will eat anything, and I mean anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No, because that lazy, duty-skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with company. Did you see the Alb Raider crash? Sure, I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raining shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? And did you see who shot the Raider down? No, someone went foom on the thing and down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. Goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. Nobody would get me in a one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of him when it crashes out of the sky. Was it a berserker that shot the raider down? No. No way. If someone from here had done that, they'd have had a parade. And they'd never have stopped talking about it. No. Which does make you wonder who it could have been. What are seedlings? What are they? They're world hearts. What are world hearts? Heart and soul of the berserkers they are. Magalan's very own mother's tit. Shove one of those in the soil and just watch the land around it grow. All this here was wasteland till the milk of mana came and changed it. You feed a seedling with mana and when it's mature, a world heart will clean out the elix and bring the ground to life. Elix poisons the ground? Elix poisons everything. But if we plant enough world hearts, we'll make the whole of Magalan green again. Unless those wretched albs bomb everything flat first. What is mana? Magic, isn't it? Magic. But you want to know how it works? You'll have to ask Caldrum or someone. I just see the results. And we cannot do this, so let's go with the second answer. There's magic out there, and you dig fields. You must feel pretty pathetic. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Why should I help you? Because you want to be safe. Because you don't want to get close and personal with an alb or a rot bore or worse. Because I'm the only guy holding back the whole of hostile Idan myself. You are right. Oh, thank the pilgrim's sweet smile. Finally. I knew you looked like a good one. I'll find Alvar. I was hoping you'd say that. You could start by asking Drogue. He's probably on duty over at the town gate. 
If anyone knows where Alvar is, it's Drogue. Those two are best buddies. Eldor, I've heard you're causing trouble with the Eisen Clan. What about it? Do you have a problem with the Eisen Clan? It's not me with the problem. It's that self-important pinchdick Orin who has the problem. He won't serve me, or anyone else from the Hammer Clan. You want to do a 10-day stretch of guard duty and then find out you can't even get a beer at the end of it? Why won't Orin serve you? You'd have to commune with the Pilgrim to answer that one, because I don't know. One minute Orin will serve us, the next minute he won't even let us in the tavern. What's all this got to do with you? Cormag doesn't want conflict between the clans. Well, someone needs to speak to Orin then. It's that self-important sack of ass grapes that has the problem, not me. You get him to change his mind and let the Hammer Clan back in the tavern. That will sort everything out. You'd better watch. Okay, so this video is already really long, so I'm going to run to the towns, uh, to the entrance of the town, so we can speak to a guard later on. And uh, I will end the video there. Oh, there it is. And next video we will speak to him. Okay, guys, see you in the next one.